Ernest, thanks for agreeing to talk to us today. It seems Ghana has suffered less than many of its uh, African peers during the global economic crisis. Why is that? Ghana, I suppose, uh, was much better off than other countries as a result of several factors, namely the uh, fairly good commodity prices, uh, the support from the uh, World Bank and the IMF very early, and then also uh, greater effort to live within its means in the year after the crisis. Now, looking to the future, where do you think growth and jobs are going to come from? Growth has been a very, very difficult thing for Ghana uh, to maintain uh, for a long time. Um, the last two decades have seen fairly decent growth coming largely from public investment. Uh, it's obvious that that kind of growth cannot be maintained for too long. It's important that Ghana looks at agriculture and manufacturing as the primary sources of growth and uh, employment. It seems the government is pinning a lot of its hopes on, on oil coming on stream, right? What, what can you tell us about that? I hear everybody talking about oil and how it's going to change this country. It could change this country uh, for better or for worse. I believe quite strongly that many Ghanaians are fully aware of the possibility of oil leading to chaos and therefore are preparing the government. Uh, I see many civil society organizations get together and advise on how to use oil resources much more prudently and more efficiently than has been the case in some other countries. On a scale from 1 to 10, how hopeful are you that it's going to be different for Ghana and they'll make good use of their oil resources? I would say 7. I would say 7 in the sense that uh, uh, the government, I believe, is fully aware of the uh, uh, potential mismanagement that could occur. Mm -hmm. And the people of Ghana are also fully aware of this uh, possibility and are not likely to put on the government any unnecessary pressure mm -hmm. to spend. Um, and that I think is good. Uh, I don't think there are too many Ghanaians with any false uh, or exaggerated expectations um, they are fully aware that 15 years of reserves can't be that huge. The IMF has just extended this large loan to Ghana um, and is advising the government uh, in other ways too. What, what role do you see for the IMF? Yes, there's uh, every indication that uh, a lot of the progress that Ghana has seen in the last two decades has been a consequence of its interaction with the international community. Uh, aid has played a very significant role in Ghana's development and aid will continue to play an important role uh, in the coming years. Uh, one of the things that I would like to see change is a movement away from uh, official assistance to foreign investment. I will support anything that the fund IMF will do uh, to encourage Ghana to develop all the incentives that will facilitate private investment. And I'm very, very happy that the fund has so far played a meaningful role in uh, uh, providing official assistance to Ghana. Uh, this can be extended to complement what other organizations can do. Uh, I would like to see the World Bank, in particular the IFC, play a more direct role in attracting private investment into Ghana. I would like to see uh, bilateral donors do a lot more in terms of supporting their private sectors to go into Ghana. Uh, a lot of this will have to go into manufacturing. And that's the area that Ghana is quite lacking. Uh, the human capital in those areas is not very well structured or not very well developed. And so foreign assistance in this area will be very important. That's how Asia developed. And that's how Africa will also have to develop. Ernest, thanks so much for sharing our views uh, with us today. You're most welcome.